Alchemist can handle the rest of it. And now going again, ES Fisher locking Alchemist next to Roshan. He can't actually escape right now. In comes ES once again, goes for the Tomon Visage. Necrolite comes in there. They will be able to claim the Alchemist down. In fact, actually, a 3 using its ulti on DGC to bring him down. And SF back in once again. Couple of raises. Will it be enough? There's got to be a couple of hoods. At least there's plenty of walkers close to this. Just slowing down the damage on him. He's trying to bring up Visage. VS swaps it back in a little bit closer there. It will be enough. In fact, YS does claim the last hit. The Alchemist almost being held in place. The YS claims a double. The big Shadow Fiend. Can he claim a triple? Yes, yes it is. It's a triple kill. Great ES Fisher for the support there. But YS, the man at the moment. He was absent before when his teammates were doing the rest of it. And now they're going to claim another one. Can they make it an Ultra? They might do it. There it goes. Ultra kill. And there's a CK to boot. Raw goes off. Gives him the vision. VS will hopefully be running on down and get that extra stun there. But CK is so damn fast. ES now coming back again. He has enough. There's the Fisher. Where's the Razor? One Razor. Close range. Can only actually bring it down there. But Boss comes out from ZS. It was all about YS. Just so damn freaking powerful. But great work there from the Varna CN side as well to get get all those kills on the back on back of YS on that Shadow Fiend. Get him farmed up. Get those items up. In fact, let's have a look at the Nevermore right now. Walking around with 2,000 gold. He doesn't need the space there. They might even give it to somebody else, but he will actually open up a space there. Familiar's tried to actually come back in then and uh, claim the Aegis. Uh, not going to happen though. TP scroll dropped here and SF has an Aegis Immortal. Kill actually does go through as well. That was actually to the Scourge. A bit of a cheeky play by Visage. Just a little bit cheeky. Razor's now firing off here by Nevermore, level 15. He can just farm that mid lane that little bit more. Obviously going to go for the Yasha, then Manta coming out with the uh, blades on top of him right now. CK pushing off that top lane with his mirror images, which is of course his ultimate that allows him to do that. Those Im images do a crap load of damage. Couple that with the Manta, you'll never actually kill him, or he'll just basically slice you in two with a bread knife or some sort of blunt instrument. CK, they're deciding to fall himself back there. Illusion's been the last one out there. Necro not able to actually pick up who is actually the real one. As our list coming on through, they are going to try and get on top now. ES, thinking about going for it. There's a lot of damage all coming on top. The frost goes off. They don't find the real one. It's already run back past the bottom room. So great distraction play. Smoke and mirrors kind of style. The Houdini CK has now been invented here by LGD. They've invented a lot of other things. So why not? Still waiting to actually push it down now. Visage is down there on the bottom line, just, just pushing it out. Alchemist is going to try and rejoin them, try and get that last tier 1 tower down. Find out there's actually still one tier 1 tower up from either side, as I say that now. Let's go to one getting completely pounded into oblivion. Um, it goes down, and even then with the familiar sitting from the side there, they still didn't get the last hit there. It was a necrolite or a glaive thrower that claimed it. Um, insanely hard to actually time your last hit when, that's, when they're actually firing that fast off as well. They're actually going to try and push this tier 2 tower now too. This is our LGD um, for the Sentinel side here, really trying to push down on this bottom lane as far as they possibly can. It might be quite possible. Pushing back now was also familiar, just uh, to sign this. It's not worth it. SF comes in. Actually going to completely prove me wrong, not go for Manta. He's actually going straight for the Strength and Agi uh, through the S and Y. An item which has started to be a little bit more popular of late, uh, funnily enough, which is funny because it hasn't really been modified, I don't believe. Um, another question to actually put in the bank for Syndrome. Um, but yeah, it actually hasn't been modified of late. So uh, yeah, interesting item to actually see him actually go up there for the Shadow Fiend. Obviously never more, think he needs a little bit more life to try and survive through these battles, a little bit more attack speed, a little bit more damage that can come out from it as well. Uh, it's not a bad option right now. Find out the Black Dragons, also not a bad option. Um, all going on, well only one of them's actually gone on the back of Nevermore right now, he's going to share out with the rest of his teammates. Uh, actually on ES, they might be trying to get that Blink Dagger up a little bit faster on ES so he can actually get those Fissure Initiations up a little bit faster, uh, which will definitely be a great assistance. Darks here, uh, how is he going for items? Hood and Vanguard as well as the Soul Ring, so he's really moving himself along. Massage still hasn't really changed his items of late, done a couple of times. Mechanism, he had that completed about 10 minutes ago. Um, nothing really new for him. Uh, let's have a little bit of a look around. Uh, CM will just be going support, so we expect, look, there's the Arcane Boots up once again, um, as well as wards you'd expect. Chaos Knight, not that much as well as it's changed. Uh, Bracer Phase as well as the Urner Shadows. Um, Seer actually surging up. Um, now CK. Mid T1 Tower now going down. That's like a bit of pressure. Applied by one beefy SF, who's almost level 16 as well. Should be the first here to actually clock that level. 
Uh, mid lane actually coming through now too, just uh, pushing it down, tier 2 tower, oh, down to half HP. Frost armor from Lynch is actually sitting on top of the SF, he can literally tank that tower as long as he wants. The illusion wall will go up, pulls them all through it as well, everyone gets illusion, SF, BKB, Aldi goes off, Lynch, Aldi bouncing around, there's a big, big creep wave there, so it's not doing as much damage as they would have liked. ZMSJ is enough to actually fall down from this one, Nevermore still has that Agassi Mortal targeting the Darkseer, pushing him back. Killing the Illusions, CM now as well. We do see the SF actually falling during this one. They've already lost one from the Scourge. As uh, we see, I think it was a buyback coming out from the Sentinel side just during that time too. Glyph firing off, trying to buy a little bit more time. They will bring it down. CK now comes in again, goes in for the blink run on top of the VS. We'll actually get the kill as well. Alchemist done on that SF. They want to try and incapacitate, incapacitate him as long as they possibly can. CM coming back up again. They claim the tower. Nevermore wants the familiars. It's 100 gold each too, so it's well worth the kill. Now he's going to get himself out before he actually dies and basically risks everything he's actually got. Frost going up from there from Lich. Trying to block as well. Armor's on. While we see Necrolite hitting the Visage from behind. Stun on the Lich. Darkseer with the Iron Cone, with the Iron Shell on top of him too. HY takes the fall for his team. Necrolite trying to fall out there. Great upper Frost. Comes from the CM. CS surges himself up there and then runs the complete opposite direction. And now finally turns around. Um, it's just like, dot dot dot, what the hell just happened then? Surge actually goes through. Necrolite getting pulled to the side of the tree. He actually couldn't get close enough to the Seer. They almost pulled him into the gap there and that would have been absolutely disastrous. In fact, I think it was actually a little stop of the glitch that actually came out. ZS though, pulled in. Everything is hitting hit on top of it. He's actually gone. He is not going to live through this. In fact, there he goes. 280 gold. He goes extra on the back of cold. And uh, well, actually, that's how much he actually lost there. It's, yeah, it's, it just basically hands over towards the other side of the, of the river. The two enemy heroes going down from the Scourge as they try to push that tier 2 tower. They did claim the tier 2 tower. That's the upside. Shadow Fiend now got to do us uh, a little bit more here. He's uh, got 3,300 gold at the moment. Regen Rune is there. In fact, he's now going to pop it off there. Uh, move himself back in towards middle. Bottle charges will be up for him as well. Uh, but he will be at full health by the time he actually rejoins that, that uh, tier 2 tower in the middle lane. Visage ready to push it out as well. Alchemist going to lead the charge. ES, Fissure goes straight through the Crete wave. Wants to try and destroy that as fast as possibly can. SF going to come from the side. Just pushing that Visage back. Doesn't matter if you are Visage, a level 16 Nevermore still pumps out a lot of damage, especially considering he bought an Eagle Horn as he passed the shop. ES wants to try and put down Totem, now goes the Fissure, it actually blocks SF out, he has to go the long way around, Frost goes off as well, can Nevermore catch up, is there another Frost, as uh, the site trying to go up there, off goes the Frost, it's enough, is there a long range Razor, see him on low, low HP, 27 HP, it's not enough, it's not enough, and in fact Ben actually denies himself on the neutral creeps. What a cruel, cruel world when a girl has to throw away her life to a whole bunch of what she actually died to, to trolls, to the cold balls. That's just an ugly, ugly critter to actually kill you. Oh well, that's the way the queen crumbles. 28 minutes and uh, 26 seconds into this game so far. 20 seconds on the sideline for that CM, for her troubles. Nevermore just wait, ready to push out this middle lane. In fact, doing so quite efficiently and denying absolutely everything he's possibly got. The CS score at the end of this one should look very, very nice. We'll have a bit of a critique of that one at the very, very end too, guys. So uh, don't panic. Your CS score is only, is only, well, who knows how far away. It depends how long and who actually pushes in this last battle. It's all going to be about the racks and can Nevermore do it. He is getting very, very beefy. 79 plus 185 damages on top of him. Plus the Sanjay and Jasha, which does give you that main ability as well, which is it's, it's a good way of actually doing it too. Great for actually hunting. I do like it. I do like the Deso. It's like insta-kill. Just rip through that armor. Uh, Darkseer up there on the top lane. Actually, managed to buy a pipe up now as well as a Vanguard. Um, so having a great old time there on the top lane. Necrolite is going to come up there. Just pushing back there. TP does go off. Nevermore pushing out this top lane. Doesn't really care the fact that Darkseer is up there. In fact, actually stopping off that... Uh, stopping that uh, TP for some reason. Um, we wouldn't have actually had a stun there from Necrolite. SF's going to come up here. Mix him up here. One Razor, one Razor. Great blink there from DGC. Sun, Totem, Fissure, and SF does the rest of it. YS actually claiming once again the last hit. It's all going on to that SF. They just love farming up that SF. Tier 2 tower being pushed on the bottom lane. VS now comes in there as well as the Lich. Look for the Frost. Look for the ulti. Is it going to come? It's nothing but Illusion, so no, it will not come. He already fell back there, but it was on the Illusions, as I said, deal, deal a hell of a lot of damage. So it's enough to actually kill that Tier 2 tower and gets him the last hit for his troubles. SF doing a hell of a lot of fast damage up there on the top lane as well. Let's have a look back at the crow. Do we have an eagle horn? Do we have a, tal a talisman? No, we don't. Uh, no evasion. Uh, so he hasn't completed that butterfly yet, which is what I'm guessing he's going for. Uh, could we actually go for Barizia and just go straight for the crit. Uh, but we'll see how he actually goes for his item build right now. He still has 1700 gold, so we'll wait and see how he goes. Probably would have actually bought up one of his items but between then and now if he was actually going to go for, for, uh, for the butterfly. So he might see something slightly different. 
I'm still going to farm up. Jungle Stalkers. Now, there's about to take a bit of time to actually kill. But the DD Shadow Fiend, that's just not cool. 299 plus 81. Might as well just put a Divine Rapier on this guy. To, to a similar amount of damage. Actually, probably just like double his damage coming out if he actually managed to get one of those items up, uh, uh, items up at the moment. Alchemist now with a Sacred Relic. 30 minutes Sacred Relic, not too bad with the Hood of Defiance, considering the game is 